Jake, you bought anything? Fun. You bought anything? Yeah. Right, where are we today, Jack? Boot. And we got here so early today, the cars haven't even gone in yet. Right, Jack is busy being industrious. What are you doing, Jack? Making a piece of art. So, making a piece of graffiti art. And uh, we, got, we managed to get a couple of free frames the other day, so we'll try and sell those. And we managed to sell one of these last year, actually, for... Is that like artist? <laughs> it does, yeah. So uh, we managed to sell one for, I think it was about £130, which I could not believe, but uh, true story. And uh, we'll see how we're getting with this one. We may even make two. Right, so just to recap of the goal... We are trying to go from zero cash to £100,000 in a year and we're doing it at the moment by flipping stuff. We're buying and selling, buying online, selling online, buying in retail shops, buying in boot sales, charity shops, anywhere we can get a hand on some stock we're buying at the moment. Now we list a lot of stuff online on Amazon and eBay. I think we've got about 320 live listings at the moment. A lot of it's still getting shipped over. So we're going to hopefully get some more sales going on, but we're just going to show you now what we picked up today at the car boot sale locally to us. And uh, Jack's going to show you right now. Right, so Jack's going to show us what we got uh, picked up today. What's the first thing, Jack? Cricket helmet. Cricket helmet, paid 50p for that. And um, that's probably worth £10. We're not allowed to sell that one now, are we, Jack? Mm -hmm. And what else did you get? Is it a prank? Cockroach prank. We got two Nerf guns as well, and a and, and a boxing glove, which Jack is retaining all of these. They are not to be sold. So that was about three quid, I think. These are quite good. The Dremel cutters that we bought last week, they, are, they were sold for 20 pounds. I think we sold all of them now. All five went within about three days. So I bought nine more for 54 pounds. The average sale price of those is a little bit less because they're slightly different, but they're going to be about £140 worth. Then we've got uh, the cutters, garden cutters that we've sold two of so far for £19 each. We've just bought three more for £19. The next one is the extension leads. We bought for 50p each for the Ethernet extensions. They're about £8 each. Now, these were a really good buy that's Jack showing. They were a pound each, these soft toys. Bought five of them. The one Jack's holding on its own, it's got a tag on it, and that one is $16.99. It's from um, Minions. These? Then these ones here are Yale uh, window locks. 14 items there. I did a deal on that for £25. So that's about £1.60-odd each. And they are... I think they total up to about 160 as a resale. Now... These are the best things I've probably bought in a long time. So the only reason I went for these is now having looking around over the last couple of weeks, uh, knowledge is getting a bit better and knowing what to look for. And as you can see, I'm starting to buy some of the same stuff that's selling. Sold a couple of blowtorch uh, heads. Saw this lot in this bag, all pretty much hidden away. No one really knew what it was. And um, bought the whole bag for £25. And... All these nozzles are lots of money. So all the gold ones here are £14 each. Show me those back ones, Jack. So they are £9.99 each. And this was the first one I scanned that Jack's holding. I haven't spent £25 on the bag. That scanned in £38. I couldn't believe it, but uh, there's three of those. So I reckon there's about £600 worth there out of that £25 bag. But um, as you can see, they're a little bit tatty, so we may end up having to uh, do a bit of a discount. Now, these are little latches, uh, magnetic latches. There's 38 of those. They scan at £4 each. I bought that box with um, some other stuff as well. Where are they? So I bought that box and all of these locks for £60 uh, with another one of these nozzles. 
So this nozzle is 15 pounds. As I say, there's 38 of these that are uh, four pounds each. So that's about 80, about 150 pounds worth there. These locks, I need to have a proper look through, but there's probably a good 60 pounds worth there. This is my worst buy today. Having um, sold out the Yale locks I bought last week at £29 each, I took a, took a chance on these. I didn't really scan. Uh, paid £7 each on those locks. They're probably only £9, so um, I'm probably going to lose on those, which is annoying. Uh, Jack's pointing out there the hose lock uh, sensor controllers. Bought those for £12 each, and um, they sell for 35 This one here is a great buy. It's a little bit tatty on the box, but um, it's a code lock. This is that was ten pounds, and um, that sells for one hundred and twenty nine. With the tatty box, I'm missing it at ninety nine. Um, then we've got these door stops. There's thirty eight in there. They again sell for four pounds each. We paid fifteen pounds the whole box. So I think we're going to sell them as three for a tenner. So it's going to be about one hundred, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty pounds worth there. Then these here with the um, the hidden locks I bought for £30. Uh, those are the Jeddo thumb turn locks are about eight, nine pounds each. Mm -hmm. And then those are unbelievably 55 pounds a pair for these concealed locks. So they're going onto eBay for 29, just because they're not in the box. And um, the best thing of the day though, if I can see it, oh, here it is. So this was one pound, and this is very highly ranked. This will go probably on the first day. That sells for 28 pounds. So we're very happy with that, aren't we, Jack? Yep. And uh, yeah, so that's it for the day. Right, um, so that's what we picked up today. We spent how much today, Jack? 332 pounds. So 332, and I think on rough estimation, we're going to be about 1400 on sales on that lot. Uh, that's going to be before fees, so <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, so about 14, <laughs> 1400 pounds before fees. Well, are you going to show us what we've uh, got in the total then? Yeah. Okay, good. So here are the numbers so far from the little man. We spent. We've sold one five nine four. We've got our profits three hundred and thirty. Subscribers one hundred and two. <laughs> so our little mini cricketer is showing you now the piece of art we finished. Looks good, doesn't it, Jack? Yeah. So why don't we give it to our best subscriber? We could do that. That's what a lot of people do on your uh, videos that you watch, don't they? So Jack loves watching a few of the uh, kids' toy uh, channels and always giving stuff away. So he's uh, full of ideas. He's got more ideas than me on this stuff, which is great. But um, the, the most important thing on these numbers that we've got is we've not included the stock we're holding as well. So there's, there's roughly about £2,000 worth of stock we're holding as well. So we're not counting it until they're sold. So I think we're uh, in good shape, seeing as we're about... Um, less than three weeks in so we'll catch you on the next video and see how we're getting on and we're feeling the pressure to try and ramp this up a little bit aren't we jack we need to get some bigger stuff now don't we yeah. so we'll catch you soon bye